child psychologist, he'll tell you the same thing. What do you think? Children are born bad. Children are good at the start. They're good. If something goes wrong, it's because they got bad parents. That's what they say, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Hi, darling. Hello, my love. Hi, Charlie. Ah, yeah. How was the game? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's easy to see you lost again. Yeah, that should be my biggest problem. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, they're having trouble with his nephew. Causing the family a lot of trouble and grief. What's the matter with Herbert? Herbert? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. He, just that he's a dirty little rat. <laughs> oh, Charlie, how can you talk that way about your nephew? You know he's not a rat. Oh, no? Now, how come every time he goes into the grocery store, they hide the cheese? <laughs> every day, my sister gets a note from the principal. Please come and see me about your son, Herbert. But that poor woman, she's been in the school more than the kid. <laughs> well, it's her own fault. Obviously, she and her husband did something wrong. Yeah, they had Herbert. <laughs> Charlie, I, I don't know your nephew. Congratulations. <laughs> Without knowing him, I am quite certain that his parents failed him somewhere along the line. It's the parent's responsibility to teach the child right from wrong. Oh, Herbert knows right from wrong. Otherwise, every once in a while, by pure accident, he'd do something right. <laughs> <laughs> this kid has no redeeming features at all. He would rather lie than tell the truth. He enjoys being destructive. And his favorite pastime is pushing little old ladies in front of trolley cars. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't know. <laughs> I don't have to know him. I know kids. And kids need help and guidance from an adult, from a father, a mother, or an Uncle Charlie. Well, me, how did I get into the act? Charlie, you're his uncle, a blood relative. You know, you could be a great help to him. Well, I was. Twice I saved his life. Oh, how? I signed his report card. <laughs> Some help you were. You were an accomplice. Oh. You know, you know nothing about child psychology. Nothing. All right, so I know nothing about child psychology. You expect me to know everything? I mean, uh, uh, nobody knows everything except you. Don't be wise. Look, I don't want to boast. But when I look at my kids, I don't know, a feeling comes over me. I say to myself, Dan, you have brought those youngsters up to know right from wrong. You have brought them up to be decent human beings. You've done a fine job. You're a good father. Imagine if you wanted to boast. <laughs> All right, so I want to boast. I got a right to boast. Whatever my kids are, we made them. Right, Kathy? Oh, am I included? For a while there, I thought you were doing a single. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what I mean. Hi, everybody. Hey, there they are. There they are. Look at them. What do we do? That's it's what you didn't do. What didn't we do? You didn't make a bum out of your father. <laughs> then who did? <laughs> Nobody. If anybody ever does, I'm sure it won't be my two little darlings. Proud of you both. You know, if you fellows will wash up, I'll go and make you some sandwiches. Okay, sweetheart. Charlie, I've got a couple of good books on child psychology. I'd be very happy to lend you. Oh, thank you. Did you read them or write them? <laughs> Hardy, har, har, har. I don't need any other testimonial than those two kids right there. There you see them. A product of my upbringing. Two fine, good-looking, normal, well-behaved kids. America's future. Wouldn't this be a good time to ask Daddy to raise our allowance? <laughs> That's good thinking, kid. But I got bigger plans. Like what? Well, I've been waiting for Dad to get in a good mood so I could ask him for a set of golf clubs. And it looks like this is D-Day. Boy, I've been dying to try it. Bet I can knock it a mile. Ow! <gasps> <gasps> What am I gonna do? I know one thing you better do. What's that? Learn to sleep on your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> if it were only that, it wouldn't be so bad. 
But he's gonna ground me. I'll have to stay in my room for, for at least a week, and I can't. We got a we got a big game coming up against PS46 next week, and and if I'm grounded, I'll miss practice. And if we lose the game, it'd be my fault. I can't do that to the fellas. Oh, why don't you just explain it to Daddy? A lot of good that'd do. I can just hear him now. Well, it's too bad if you have to miss practice. But you can practice standing up for a while, because when I'm through with you, you won't be able to sit down. Pow! <laughs> you kids are all alike. No sense of responsibility. Pow! Destroying other people's property. That costs money. You think money grows on trees? Pow! You forgot something. What? When I was your age, I was supporting a family of nine. Pow! <laughs> Want to take my advice, Rusty? What? Run away from home and never come back. <laughs> oh, that's no good. I've done that twice already. <laughs> what if we just sort of slip it back in the bag? Then next time Daddy plays, he'll... No, that's no good either. He's liable to murder some innocent caddy. <laughs> Suppose I'll have to tell him, but the team will never forgive me. There were only some way I could stall off the... Boy, at a time like this, I wish I had a sister who liked me, sis. Well, I liked you, Rusty. No, I mean really, really, really liked me, sis. I really, really, really liked you, Rusty. You know, where we, where we were pals. I do things for her. She does things for me. You know, sometimes if she got in trouble, I'd take the blame for her, and sometimes she'd take the blame for me. Well, I'd be glad to take the blame for you sometimes, Rusty. Thanks. <laughs> Some other time. Sis, I, I wouldn't ask you to do it, except, well, I can't let the team down. Besides, you're Daddy's little baby. He'll go easy on you, but he'd throw the book at me. I I'll do the same for you. Sometime when you're in trouble, I'll take the blame. Say, Charlie, that's the only answer. Good deal. Of course. It's all a matter of understanding. You have understanding, then you have patience. Child, there's something wrong. So you're patient. Sweetheart, don't, don't play with Daddy's golf club. Anyway, you have, you have patience, you see? Now, the child does something wrong. So... <laughs> the forward, not the forward, oh no, oh no, not the forward, that's my favorite word, oh, I don't believe it, it's the, for, it's the forward, oh, not the How did this happen? That's what I'd like to know, how did it happen? Go ahead, tell him, Linda. What, Linda? Well, I, I was swinging it and it hit against the couch and it broke. You, you? Linda, you mean that you broke this club? She, sure she did, she just told you. Well, I'll have to cut down on her vitamins. <laughs> She's a lot stronger than she looks. She's all muscle. Right, young lady. Go, go to your room. I'll discuss this with you later. Go ahead. Hmm. How could such a thing happen in the house of the master of child psychology? <laughs> Just cut the sarcasm, huh? What you saw was a perfect example of fine upbringing. Complete honesty. She told the truth. And I assure you, it'll be to her advantage. Because when I'm deciding what her punishment will be, I will take that honesty and integrity into consideration. <laughs> well, Danny, that's wonderful except for one thing. What? I think it would have shown a little more integrity if the right kid confessed. <laughs> well, I mean, this whole thing don't look right. If I close my eyes, I can see Herbert all over again. <laughs> Linda is taking the rap for Rusty. What are you saying? That's my son you're talking about. What kind of a kid do you think he is? I don't know, but if I'm right, I wouldn't keep any cheese around the house. <laughs> Out. 
Get out of my house. Nobody's gonna talk about my kid like now, that. Now, Daddy, wait a minute. I think Charlie may be right. You get out, too. <laughs> Come on, now. You know, Charlie, I agree with you. There's something fishy about this whole thing. And right now, those two kids are upstairs whispering like a couple of conspirators. It's silly. Why would Linda want to take the blame for something Rusty did? Oh, Danny, you know very well that Rusty can get that poor little girl to do anything he wants her to do. He's a very persuasive talker. Well, he could never talk Linda into taking the blame for breaking a golf club. Oh, no? Rusty could talk Whistler's mother into hocking her rocking chair. <laughs> and besides, honey, you don't really believe that Linda is strong enough to break a club like this. Well, we can soon find out. Linda! Linda! Come down here, dear. I will show you that you are both positively wrong. Not you, Russell, just your sister. Isn't she entitled to a lawyer? <laughs> this is not the Nuremberg trial. <laughs> but if you want to stick around, Perry Mason, maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> now, darling, don't be frightened. Remember, I appreciate very much that you are honest. So don't be frightened. Daddy will be just. I just want you to tell me, how did you break that club? Well, I took the club and I... No, no, dear. Don't tell me. Show me. Now, here you are. Now, where were you standing, darling, at the time? Where were you, dear? Where were you standing? Here. Right there? Fine. Now, what did you do, dear? Well, I went like this. Uh-huh. And it broke. The defense rests. <laughs> now, darling, I, I want you to swing it like you swung it and break it. You want her to break that club, too? That's exactly what I want her to do. Break As it. As a lawyer, I refuse. Be quiet. <laughs> Go ahead, dear. Break it. Harder, Linda. Harder. The other club was softer. All right. Harder. Never mind. Break it. Go ahead. She was stronger before. It was right after lunch. All right. <laughs> Linda, Linda, never mind. You're wrecking my couch. That's enough. I still want her to show Uncle Charlie how she broke it. Oh, I'll show you how she broke it. <laughs> That's how she did it. <laughs> doesn't realize what he's done. He doesn't realize the seriousness of it. There are only some way I could point out to him that it's a terribly dishonest thing. Wait a minute. Come with me. Russell? Rusty? Yes, sir? Would you come down a minute, son? I'll show you what my boy is made of. The minute he's made to realize that what he's done, the dishonesty of it, he will come clean. You watch and see. Son. Yeah. Boy. Yes, sir. Uh, we were just talking. We were having a little coffee and a little snack with Mom and Uncle Charlie. And we were just talking about kids, you know, about kids today. And, uh, you know, how different they are than, than they were in our time. But then <clears throat> I got to thinking about, about the basic standards of childhood. Are they the same today as they were in, in my generation? Well, what do you mean? Well, I mean... We, we grew up with a great respect for, for honesty and integrity and truth. I mean, a man's honor was his proudest possession. I was, I was brought up to believe that, that honesty and truth were the most important things in the world, that without them you had nothing. I believe that. And, and your mother believes that. And Uncle Charlie believes that. And how about you kids today? Do you believe that? Oh, well, sure, Dad. Well, good, good. I mean, you, you go back into history and you'll find that the greatest men had respect for honesty and truth above all other things. You take like, like George Washington when he, he cut down that cherry tree. Now, what do you suppose people would have thought of him if he'd have tried to pass the blame on to, say, uh, his little sister? People wouldn't have thought very much of him. Certainly not. You know why? He didn't have a little sister. He, he didn't. <laughs>
just uh, using that as an illustration. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm glad to see that the standards of the children today are the same as they were in my day. Okay. You run along. <laughs> Danny. Yes, darling. That dress I bought, I I told you it cost twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, I cannot tell a lie. It, it costs fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, dear. Danny? Yeah. Remember on the third hole today when you Found your ball laying behind a tree? <laughs> I kicked it there. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, Charlie, I didn't win the first hole today. I had a six, not a five. We tied it. No, Danny, you won. I had a seven, not a six. <laughs> believe it. I don't believe that my son, brought up the way he's been brought up, could stand by and see his little sister punished for something. Hey, that's it. What? That's it. What, honey? Punishment. Huh? He knows that I'm a pushover for Linda. He knows I wouldn't punish her, so he's letting her take the blame. Danny, I think you've hit him. Of course I have. Of course, it still doesn't justify it, but at least we know he's not a monster. And you were doubting the poor boy. The poor boy? A minute ago, you were going to hide the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was before we knew the reason. Of course. Now we know our boy isn't the kind of a kid who would let his sister take uh, uh, the blame for something he did. That's right. He's letting Linda take the blame because he figures I won't punish her, right? Mm -hmm. Now, all we gotta do is lay it on thick about what we're gonna do to her. And you'll see, he'll come clean. Russell! Russ! Yes, sir? Would you come down, son? You honey, are. honey, now think up something really horrible. Oh, don't worry. I got a few things in mind. Pay attention, now you can tell your sister how to handle Herbert. Oh, boy. Yes, sir. Uh, come in, come in. Look, we've, uh, we've been talking about Linda, and since you're representing her, I thought maybe I ought to consult you first. I mean, uh, what sort of punishment do you think we ought to give her? Punishment? Yeah, sure. We've got a punishment coming. She broke my golf club, so maybe I ought to break something of hers. Maybe I ought to break one of her dolls. All of her dolls? Well, I don't know if that'd square it or not, after all. Breaking her dolls? I mean, I don't think that's such a terrible punishment. After all, if I'd done a thing like that when I was a kid, my father wouldn't have broken any dolls. Except maybe over my head. <laughs> maybe a whipping would do her good. A whipping. Say, hey, you've said something. A whipping. Sure. Sure. She broke something of mine. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. With a shot like that, you'll not only get a tooth, you'll get the whole head. <laughs> now what? She's got it coming. A whipping is too good for her. Should throw her out of the house. Maybe that's what we should do. What? Put her in a home. Put her in a home? Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. One of those homes where they know how to look after kids who destroy other people's property. Right. That's a good idea. You're going to put her in a home? That's right. Go upstairs and help her pack. Daddy, if you're gonna do that, well, then I've, I've got something to tell you. What is it, son? Would you collect the dime she owes me before she goes? <laughs> oh, that little monster. Oh, I'd like to take him over my knee and really give it to him. I... I thought that kid was brought up properly. 
don't know. Where we failed, where'd we go wrong? Honey, it, you know, maybe we didn't go wrong. What? Well, maybe Rusty didn't do it. What are you talking about? The evidence is all... Oh, I don't care about the evidence. I know that in my heart that Rusty is not the kind of a boy that would let his sister suffer those terrible punishments for something he did. Are you gonna stand there and try to tell me that you actually believe little Linda's strong enough to break that club? Well, sometimes people can do something in the heat of the moment that they can't do out of the heat of the moment. That's right, by golly, that's right. She did it in the heat of the moment. Oh, come on, Rusty broke the club. Now look, Charlie, there's no question about it. Linda broke that club. Linda broke that club. In the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment. Positively no question about it. None at all. Anybody who doesn't think so can find himself another headliner for his nightclub. Like I said, Linda broke the club. Yeah. <laughs> well, we owe that boy an apology. Oh, we certainly do. Kids! Kids! Come down, please! Children! We should be ashamed of ourselves. Oh, I know. It's terrible. Horrible thing we did to that boy. Son. Yes, sir? Mother and I want to apologize to you. For what? Oh, Rusty, we're just too ashamed to tell you. Can you ever forgive us? Sure. As for you, young lady, now you broke that golf club, and that golf club cost money. Now, sit down. You've got to be punished. You understand that, don't you? Now, for your punishment, you're going to be grounded. You will kindly confine yourself to your room for the next week. Yes, Daddy. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought her punishment was going to be breaking a golf club over her head. What? I thought her punishment was going to be breaking no, no. a... Well, what about putting her in a home or, no. or, or smashing all her dolls? No, Russell, she's being grounded, confined to her room for one week. That's it. That's fine. That's your final word? Yes, sir. In that case, I've got to tell you, what? she didn't do it. I did it. You did it? Yes, with these two rotten hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't you say so before? Well, our team has a big game coming up, and I was afraid if I'd get grounded that I'd miss practice. I knew there was a reason. Reason? What reason? You mean to tell me you'd let me break all your sister's dolls and beat her with a golf club and, and throw her out of the house just so you won't miss practice? Oh, Daddy, I knew you weren't going to do any of those things, so I kept my mouth shut. But just now, when you said you'd ground Linda, I knew you would do that, so I had to tell you. I mean, well, I'm, uh, what kind of a guy do you think I am? Danny? You know, you know them books you wanted to lend me? I'll take them. I think you're a pretty right guy. Aw, oh, Dan. You go to your practice. And after you guys win the game, consider yourself grounded for one week. <laughs> 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 